In this video, I'm going to show you how to do an I chord. Now, an I chord are like these legs for the spider, the tail for the pumpkin, the stem, whatever. Um, which there are a couple ways that you can do an I chord. You can do it just with one strand where you hook your cast on and then you start doing it. Um, if you do it like that, this is just a tiny, tiny swatch. You'll end up with a string on this end that you'll have to weave in and cut off. And then you'll end up with this end that you either have to put into your project. or But there'll be something you'll have to do with both of these ends. Another way you can do them leaves kind of like this little... It works really good for the pumpkin and the um, spider because it almost looks like a foot. Now how you do that way is you cut your yarn however long you need for the project and you fold it in half. We're going to use this end. You hook that in on and you start going. Now how you do an I cord is either way if you're doing it one strand just wrap the strand around your anchor peg. If you're doing it two strands then you just loop it over this but everything else is the same. You're going to do, you're going to wrap it like a figure eight and then you'll take those bottom loops over the top loops push it down you will wrap it again like a figure eight take the bottom ones over the top you want to make sure you get both strands and push it down and you just keep doing this until it gets to the length that you would like for it to be. And that's really all there is to it for an I-cord. It's a very, very simple thing to make. If you are doing a hat, you can start off um, on each side by doing I-cords and then just broaden each side out by increasing rows to do like the flaps. If you want to do an ear flap hat with the pulled strings on them, uh, that's how I really started using the pull string, the, not the pull string, sorry, the I cords. See, you can see it's turning out down there. We got like the little knot on the end from that first stitch. But that's all there is to it. When you want, when you get it, I'll do a couple more, make it a little longer. And then I'll show you how you cast off with your cast off would be the same for either one. Now, if you are putting this into a project later, if you want, you can put these on a stitch holder and then just place them back on pegs at a later point. I've got a different way that I add them in, which I will show in a separate video. Okay, that's enough to see how it looks. Now, you move the one loop over, take bottom over the top, then you take the whole thing off the loom. At this point, you'd want to use a crochet hook, but I don't have one sitting right here right now. So what you do is you just, all right, I got to get both these strands through this. Like I said, you want to use a crochet hook for this part. There we go. Just pull that tight. And now automatically knot it. It's not going to come undone at this point. And here you go. You got an I cord. Of course, you would want to make it probably a lot longer for pretty much anything. But this just lets you know... If you do it one strand, it's going to be a lot thinner and you're going to have both ends that you'll have to deal with. But you may not want that bulky end on it either, depending on what you're making. So there's two different ways you can do I cords. Alright, I do hope that helps. Any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thank you for watching.